Howdy. Yeah, I'm Mitch Mitchell. I just thought I'd mention it because in the last video I said go look it up, but this time I'll just tell you. So I'm Mitch Mitchell, and today I want to talk about how people seem to be spending money on stuff that they don't like. And I don't quite understand this. And I'm really going to talk about movies. We're really going to talk more about movies. You know, I went and saw the Batman, Superman movie, J Dawn of Justice, and I loved it. Not the best movie ever. It's probably not going to make my top 30, top 40, whatever. But I had a good time. I actually liked it. And the thing is, I went to the theater and I went to the IMAX 3D, which means I even spent more money than most people just going to the general thing. And I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it for its entertainment value. Was it perfect? No. But you know what? Overall, I didn't notice most of the things that all these other people did. I mean, I saw people griping about all kind of things. Uh, what some of the people look like, um, you know, just um, uh, plot lines and different things like that. Some people complained because they thought it was too long. Really? For my money, if I'm paying money for it, let it be longer. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just that type of person. Uh, people complained about that. People complained it was too dark. People complained that, you know, this and that and whatever. You know what? I enjoyed it. Why did I enjoy it? Because it was action-oriented. Yes, it did have some parts where it was giving you a little backstory, but you know what? I'm not that impatient. You know, that's how movies used to be. You used to get a whole lot of backstory. Um, someone did a thing on YouTube where they showed the first Superman movie, and the guy was basically talking about how he enjoyed it, and then the kid said, well, what about the fight scenes? The guy says, fight scenes? And they find out there were no fight scenes in the very first Superman movie. Now I'm talking about the one with Christopher Reeve back in the 70s. There weren't any fight scenes. There weren't any fight scenes until the second movie. So the first movie was really more of a, a love fest for Superman. And I love that movie. And you know what? We all love that movie. And that was the 70s. Now it just seems like if everything isn't bam, 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 you know, every minute of the movie, then they hate it. Now, I can tell you a truth. There have been very few movies in my life that I have paid for that I didn't like. And except for one of them, it was someone else who suggested it, and I just decided let's go along because I thought maybe we would have a good time. And But it wasn't, you know, just me going by myself or, or me saying, wow, I really want to go see it. Now, those movies are My Dinner with Andre, which is the only movie I ever fell asleep on, <laughs> ever. I mean, even in the house, I've never fallen asleep on a movie, but I fell asleep on My Dinner with Andre. So there was that. There was the first time I saw a Rocky Horror Picture Show. And this was way back in the 70s. I had no clue what was coming. Uh, I was in college. I had this big afro, and it was at the, at, at the college. And I got irked because people were throwing rice, and it got in my afro, and I was combing rice out of my hair for three days. They were throwing water. They threw toast. They threw toilet paper. <laughs> what the devil is this? I had no clue what any of it was. But you know what? After I went a few years later, when I was kind of prepared for it and wore everything else, I it became one of my favorite movies ever. Then there is Pulp Fiction. And I, you know, once again, someone else suggested it. And we ended up sitting in the very front row of this large theater. Um, and I hate sitting in the front row. I usually sit as far back as possible. If I can sit in the last row of the theater, I'm a happy man because I want to see everything. In this particular instance, we were so close that I was already in a bad mood for having to be there. And we were there because the theater was packed. And so we're in the front row, right in the middle. Are you kidding? I couldn't see anything. And overall, I didn't understand what the concept was of this thing. Uh, we really didn't have internet then, so I couldn't even look up ahead of time to find out what, was, what it was going to be about. And I didn't get it. But you know what? Some years ago, after that, I watched it again, and I loved it. And I do love this movie. Those of you who don't like movies that have this slow pace every once in a while, you're going to hate that movie. But it's actually a very fantastic movie. So that's two. And the one movie that I paid for that I really wanted to go to, that I absolutely hated, it was a movie called Skyline. 
And it was one of those kind of movies where I saw the previews. I thought it looked kind of cool. And I said, oh, I've got to go see this. And <laughs> it was horrible. This is one of those movies that probably needed to be on the sci-fi channel. And I paid for it. And, and talk about how bad it was. It was so bad. It's the only movie I talked to throughout the entire movie. And you know what? I wasn't alone. <laughs> We all talked to this movie. It was bad. And this is one of those kind of things where I can't even say that I went in um, looking for the special effects. You know, I can't even say that I sat there, saw special effects, and said, ooh, this is kind of cool. On um, the previews on TV, it looked pretty good. Now, this one is actually my fault because this is the one time that the critics actually got it right before I showed up at the theater. Um, they were all right. They said this movie is one of these special effects movies, but they only had a budget of $10 million. But Frankie Faison was in it. So I'm thinking, okay, this ought to be pretty cool. And then they did the two things that I didn't think they would do. One, they killed off Frankie Faison within the first 15 minutes. He was the only big name in the movie. And two, they killed off the black guy 15 minutes into the movie. He was the big name. Although he wasn't listed as the star, he was the only guy I knew because he was on TV right now. So I didn't know anybody else in the movie. Why would you kill off the one person that everybody knows? Horrible movie. Horrible movie. Horrible movie. Horrible movie. But out of 56 years, that's the only movie I've paid for on my idea that I didn't enjoy. Now, I'm finding that kind of interesting. Because a lot of people beat up Dawn of Justice. A lot of people beat up Star Wars Force Awakens. Are you kidding me? People just beat that movie up to death. Um, I can't think of a lot of movies that I've gone to. Okay, yeah, I know one. I'll get beaten up for this. I like Green Lantern. Yes, I did. I liked the Green Lantern movie. I may be the only person in America who liked it. I'm not sure that Ryan Reynolds actually ended up liking it. But you know what? I thought it was fine. Uh, yes. Did the ending kind of limp in a little bit? Okay, I'll admit that. The ending limped. I, you know, you were expecting there to be really a big fight or whatever. It re wasn't really that. But you know what? I enjoyed the rest of it. It just seemed like the kind of thing that a regular guy who ended up having a ring decide that he was going to be the next Guardian of the Galaxy, so to speak. It just seemed like that's how that was going to work. I had no problem with it. He seems like a likable guy. Uh, Blake Lively, who couldn't like her? She seemed nice. Everybody, even the bad guy. For most of this movie, this is a guy like, well, you know what? He's just a creep. I mean, he's a creepy little guy. So I liked it. Paid for it. Went and saw it. I thought it was fine. Um, what was this other movie? I can't think of it right now. I'm going to say Avatar, but I don't mean the Avatar that was the James Cameron movie. It was something where I guess it was based on a kid's TV show, and everyone else hated this movie. You know what? I actually like that. Now, I had no backstory. I had no idea that, you know, anything else that it was a part of. I just went and saw it clean. Um, people hated the, some of the Harry Potter movies. Some people hated the Harry Potter movies. I'm thinking, how could you hate a Harry Potter movie? Well, turns out the people who hated it didn't read any of the books. So they said, well, it didn't explain this. This didn't make any sense. This didn't make any sense. This didn't make any sense. And I'm thinking, it all made sense because I had read the books multiple times. <laughs> so it all made sense to me. But that's not really the whole thing. My thing is, why are people spending their money going to stuff and picking it apart? Really? No one wants to go to movies for enjoyment anymore? I mean, movies, when they were 250, yeah, you kids today won't believe it. Movies used to be two fifty. Heck, movies used to be a dollar. Used to go to the Saturday matinees as a kid in my well before I was a teenager, and then even in my early teens. And on on Saturdays, you could go to the movies for a dollar, and you saw a cartoon, and you saw a short, but it may have been a Laurel and Hardy short, or or maybe a Three Stooges kind of thing or whatever, and then you saw a movie, and it was a buck. Popcorn was 35 cents. Candy was like 25 to 30 cents. You weren't allowed to take soda into the theater. <laughs> Boy, were those the days. But, you know, 
I guess I look at movies today. Movies are expensive. Twelve, thirteen dollars. If you want popcorn, then I stopped buying movie popcorn. The small popcorn is like eight dollars now. And I just can't figure out why you folks are going to the movies with the intention of hating on them. Now, I know someone's going to say, oh, no, we thought it was going to deliver this. We thought it was going to deliver this. Y'all want perfection. There is no such thing as perfection in this world. I'm, I'm here to tell you. It ain't there. If you're not trying to enjoy yourself, then stay home. Save your money. Go to a ball game. Go to the mall and eat in the food court. Go find something else to do. Stop complaining about all this stuff that doesn't need it, really. This guy I met on, on Twitter a couple of weeks ago, we got into a minor debate about Star Wars The Force Awakens because he wrote a blog post and he had 57 items that he hated about the movie. He saw it three times. So I'm thinking, wait, you spent probably $50 to go see a movie three times so you could write a blog post telling 57 things you didn't like about it? <laughs> I, I, it just blows my mind. I could never think of doing something like that. I saw Star Wars twice because the first time I just watched it as a love fest, but I didn't understand some of the stuff, so I had to go back a second time. And I loved it both times. You know, I, I pick my movies very carefully. I don't go to a lot of movies. Uh, people will recommend this movie and that movie, whatever. Eh, eh, you know. I, you know, decide what I'm going to pay my money for. And I'm lucky, like I said, 56 years, one movie that I decided that I wanted to go to, that I selected, only one has failed me. I'm thinking that's a pretty good record. So let me know, why are you people going to movies that you think you're not going to like? Why are you beating movies up over stuff that has nothing really to do with the movie? You know, if you're looking for this plot stuff, please, you know? I, I will admit, I don't know a lot of the canon on some of the, the superhero movies. I don't know all the backstory. I haven't read all the comic books. I haven't read a comic book since the 70s. I think the last comic book I read was an Archie comic book. <laughs> At least I think so. But, you know, really, tell me, why do you go to something that you're going to end up hating? I, I just don't get it. I'm thinking if something has compelled me to go, I'm going to go. You know what else I liked? I like John Carter. Yes, I did. I didn't buy the DVD, but I did see the movie twice. I liked it. I don't know why everyone else didn't like it. Well, I, you know, I read stuff. It was probably, I think, more of a period piece than anything else, but I liked the movie. So there you go. I'm easy to please most of the time. Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, comment, hate it, whatever. Y'all let me know. You take care.